join us and discover beautiful beaches, rugged landscapes, pretty towns, desolate mountain ranges that sweep down to stunning lakes, unique architecture, history and folklore, no shamrocks, no shillelaghs and definitely no shenanigans, just naked Ireland. We're at the beautiful Drumcliff Church in County Sligo, the final resting place of Nobel Prize winning Irish poet William Butler Yeats. Yeats wrote his own epitaph in the final stanza of his celebrated poem Under Ben Bulbin. Under bare Ben Bulbin's head in Drumcliff Churchyard, Yeats is laid. An ancestor was rector there. Long years ago, a church stands near. By the road, an ancient cross. No marble, no conventional phrase. On limestone quarried near the spot, by his command, these words are cut. Cast a cold eye on life, on death, horsemen pass by. The church is St Columba's Church of Ireland and was built in Neo-Gothic style in 1809. The reference in the poem to Yeats's ancestor being rector here alludes to his great-grandfather John Yeats who was rector here in the early 19th century. The church sits close to the site of a 6th century monastery founded by St Colum Kill and is located close to the Ben Bulbin mountain from which the poem takes its title. It's a very beautiful church in its simplistic way, with its random rubble stone walls set against sharp and stylized imagery. Yeats of course didn't die in Ireland, but in Menton in the south of France in 1939, and this was where he was originally buried. He said, if I die bury me up there at Rock Brune, and then in a year's time when the newspapers have forgotten me, dig me up and plant me in Sligo. After the outbreak of war slowed that process down, his remains were eventually returned to Ireland in 1948 in accordance with his instructions. The church is obviously famed for its close connection with the great poet, but it's a beautifully humble building in its own right. Please subscribe and give us a like below if you have enjoyed this video.